Just this week, Senate Republicans for the third time blocked a new voting rights bill. They wouldn't even allow it to come for a debate, let alone a vote. And these were measures, voting rights measures, that had bipartisan support in the past from many Republicans and Democrats, including Reagan and both Bushes. But the new Republican Party, controlled by Donald Trump, views voting rights as an obstacle to its path to preserve their power, and is now committed to a strategy of voter suppression for a whole political party. We've never seen that ever before. Why are they doing this? And why now? I and many others believe that the restriction of voting rights is part, I told you hard truths, get ready, part of a strategy to protect white supremacy in the United States of America. Pure and simple, a strategy that includes racial gerrymandering, fighting comprehensive immigration reform, mass incarceration, voter suppression, and a naked appeal to white Christian nationalism. All this is part of a strategy, my friends. It's a strategy to prevent the demographic shifts happening in our country from becoming reflected in our representative democracy. Let me put this very simply, and let me say it again. Their strategy, powerful people in this country, lots of money, lots of organization, their strategy is to prevent changing demography from changing democracy. To prevent changing demography, which they can't stop from happening, from changing democracy. To put it most bluntly, to ensure that white minority rule continues despite America becoming an ever more diverse nation. 